the extreme taste of tang in a glass. And in a pouch. Five fab flavors. Like tropical tremor. And cherry craze. Without the pits. All with 100% vitamin C. Tang, it's a kick in a glass. Whoa! And in a pouch. Tang, baby. Next up, a cat who's trying to earn his stripes, JD. Watch that shell. Oh, 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 oh a tiger fur peeler. Whoa. Supercharged Kellogg's Frosted Flake cereal as part of a good breakfast can help bring out the tiger in you. He's dialed in now, backside, board side. Into a total tailspin. Here comes the kicker. He's up. Huge air would be an understatement, Todd. Incredible. Those moves aren't just good. They're great. Like a catfish on a water. <laughs> Bebo Tires and Jack in the Box present the Metro PCS Monster Challenge. Presented by Advance Auto Parts and Ford Trucks. Kicks and sword on seats are still just 10 bucks to see Blue Thunder, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, World Champion, Breathe Here. And for the first time ever, witness World Champ Tom Metz driving maximum destruction. Plus, stop by Jack in the Box to pick up your fan four-pack voucher and save $20 on four tickets to Monster Challenge. Brought to you by 1-800-THE-LAW-2, January 10th, Angel Stadium. Construct G.I. Joe spy troops vehicles with new BTR building sets. Cobra's on the move. We need help. Raging Typhoon, ready. BTR sets have cool features like projectile launchers and destructo bricks to create real battle action. And when the mission calls for it, convert modes and build entirely new vehicles. Fire! Cobra Raven, retreat! BTR, built to rule. You can find BTR in the construction aisle. Actual build time may vary. Each sold separately. The man in the hat is my Uncle Augie. Uncle Augie didn't just teach me math and science, he taught me to love them. <laughs> if it wasn't for him, I never would have gotten my college degree in math. Uncle Augie was always coming and going, off on adventures, but we made the most of our time together. <laughs> Then, one day, Uncle Augie just disappeared. <laughs> and he never came back. I'd give anything to see my Uncle Augie again. I know he's alive. And somehow, some way, I'm going to... down there hey you sure this is the place check the map this better be the place or are we gonna have some splaining to do guys hey April. April. I'm so <laughs> glad to see you but how did you guys get in here and what did you do to my wall Donnie found an old map that showed an abandoned tunnel near your basement a little bit of digging, and here we are. We had to find a way to see you without being spotted. For your safety. Especially since Karai, Little Miss Shredder, showed up at your shop. Well, I'm glad you're here. I've missed you guys. <sighs> what happened to your leg, Donnie? Kind of a bug bite. A really big bug. Uh, guys, you'd better... Robin? Hey, sis. How are you? Come in. <laughs> hey, I hope you don't mind me dropping in like this, but I just got in from the West Coast and thought I'd surprise you. Robin, you're my sister. You know you're always welcome. I thought I heard voices. Is there someone else here? No, nobody. Put your stuff in my bedroom. I'll make some coffee. A 
last few months have been tough. My friends used to be around all the time. Now I barely get to see them. What about your boyfriend? That Casey guy? How's he? Casey's great. <laughs> Crazy as ever. Sis, can I check my email? I'm supposed to hear back about a job. Sure, go right ahead. Is something wrong with your computer? There wasn't the last time I used it. Maybe it's got a virus. Shouldn't be. Not with all the virus protection and firewalls I have programmed in there. April, what's up? Don, can you come over later tonight? I need your opinion on something. What's the problem? My computer's been doing that all day. But it's not like any virus I've ever seen before. Hmm. There's something familiar about those symbols. Let me see what happens if I run it through a translation decompiler. <laughs> Oh, Neil, what else does it say? There are parts missing. Across, dimensional, help, artifact, save us, Professor August O'Neil. Uncle Augie? Could be, and it sounds like he's in trouble. Here's Uncle Augie's artifact. I haven't touched it since it took us all to that wasp world. Look at that. I think, maybe, the message came through the dimensional artifact and infected your computer. The main message is incomplete, but I recognize these symbols as dimensional coordinates. I scanned your uncle's journal into my tech tab. The logarithms are identical. Then I'm using those coordinates to go after Uncle Augie. April, there is no way I'm letting you go alone on something like this. I'm with you. Thanks, Donnie. Setting coordinates, and Uncle Augie, here we come! Strangers, have you come to aid the magician? Huh? Uh, uh, yes, the magician, right. Excellent. This is good. We must bring you to the magician immediately. This place is amazing, April. Some kind of super advanced civilization. You have visitors. <gasps> huh? Oh, April? It can't be! But it is April! Uncle Augie! You're all right! <laughs> <laughs> Better than ever, sweetie. Uncle Augie, I want you to meet my friend, Donatello. Donatello? And I take it you must be from some strange world in another dimension. New York City, actually. Magnificent! I suppose I should be surprised. But I'm more surprised to see my niece here. How did you get here? Why? We got your message. My message? Your distress signal. Your call for help. Help? But things are perfectly fine. I said no call for help. Oh dear! The message! <laughs> it was more of an announcement, really. I was testing the transmitting systems. They still need work, obviously, as the message didn't go through as I intended. But 
I don't need help. No, the people of this magnificent city want to help us. They call themselves the Brotherhood, and they plan to bring all their amazing technology and medical advancements to Earth. It will change the world. It is our custom. My people wish to spread peace and love and understanding throughout the multiverse. But now, we will take our leave and allow you to finish repairing the transport. The sooner it is fixed, the sooner we will be able to help the people of Earth. Their transport artifact was broken when I arrived. I managed to repair it, but I didn't have the coordinates to get home. But your arrival has left a dimensional wake, pinpointing Earth. Once I finish expanding the transport platform, we'll be able to bring Brotherhood Science back to Earth with us. It's going to be glorious! A new epoch of peace, love, and understanding! Oh, Uncle Augie, it sounds so wonderful. It sure does. Hey, do you think it would be okay if I took a stroll around the city? I'd love to get a good look at their advanced technology before we leave. Sure! The Brotherhood won't mind. Just don't get in any trouble, Don. What, me? I'm the sensible turtle, remember? Uncle Augie's right. This place is incredible. A little quiet, though. It is all I can do not to bite their heads off. Me strong. The Counselor's plan has almost borne fruit. Soon we will all feed. And where is the Grand Counselor now? He is in the throne room, making the final preparations. Counselor, our food supplies are nearly exhausted. Soon we will have nothing left to eat. Worry not. The old fool has nearly repaired the transport. Once it is operational, we can resume conquering new worlds. We will feed long and well, starting with his precious Earth! <laughs> Remember how I promised to stay out of trouble? Well, we're in trouble. Big trouble! The Brotherhood is just using Uncle Augie to get them to Earth so they can eat everybody! What? That's preposterous! The Brotherhood wants to serve humanity! Right. Medium rare. Like in that Twilight Zone episode. Uncle Augie, if Don says something's going on, then something's going on. I'd stake my life on it. Yes, you <sighs> will. The time for niceties is at an end. Seize them! April, get your arms out of here! Run, Uncle Augie! But... Run! Excuse me, pardon me! Where are we going? Follow me! Everyone, into that shuttle! Brotherhood was using you, Uncle Augie. Uh, I can't believe that. What are these? Huh, magnetic. Uncle Augie, what is this place? The Brotherhood called this place the Forbidden Zone. No one is allowed in here. They told me it was strictly off limits. And I think I know why. I don't think they <gasps> wanted you to see this. Look. Can't be. They told me. They said they wanted to help us. Huh? Wait, I've seen these holographic stations all over town. Maybe it can shed some light on what happened here. I'll see if I can access the municipal archives. 
In the beginning, the Zodat civilization started a great period of unrest. The great lawmaker Lotus Priam passed down the 32 precepts of compassion. I'm working up to the last entry. The end has come. The lizards tricked us. They flooded into our city from their dimension. They have taken over, and our glorious civilization is gone. To prevent them from traveling to other dimensions, we use these magnetic charges. The powerful magnetic charges destroyed the transport artifact's ability to transmit. That should trap them here in our world, and perhaps save other worlds from our fate. Stay back! Back! So much for peace, love, and understanding. <sighs> I so wanted it all to be true. We must make sure the Brotherhood never reaches Earth, no matter what! will be more useful to him if we're alive. Good. Put him back to work. Soon we will be feasting upon the people of Earth. <laughs> gonna do don't worry I have an idea uncle Augie you all right April thank heaven you're safe <sighs> Uncle Augie, we have to work quickly. I've rigged the tech tab to set off the Zodak magnetic charges and destroy the transport artifact. We'll finish the job the Zodak started. I'm afraid that won't work. I fixed the transport artifact, shielding it from magnetic overloads. Hmm, maybe we don't have to destroy this transport artifact. April, what are you... I feared they've gone using the transport. Assemble all the Brotherhood. We have prey to hunt and a new world to conquer. Oh, there it is, just as we left it. April, tell me this isn't where I think it is. This artifact isn't magnetically shielded. Don, set the Zodat magnetic charges. setting up a little surprise party. When the Counselor and the Brotherhood Army use their transport artifact, thinking it leads straight to Earth. They're gonna follow us to the other world. 
spread out. Find them. And once they realize that they've made a terrible mistake... There'll be no working transport artifact for them to escape through. Huh? Transport. No! through and I'm finally home after all these years thank you you two <laughs> Robin you're not gonna believe oh, now, who I found easy there. Oh, Uncle Hoggy <laughs> but how it's a long story with lots of peace Love and understanding. Oh, it's so good to see you again. <laughs> People person. Have you been fighting crime long? I don't fight crime. What do you fight? Weak bones. A never-ending supply of milk. And chocolate milk. Want strong bones? The calcium in milk helps make your bones strong. This is the day you have trained for. The day you have studied for. Utilize your superior skills. Your superior intelligence. Sit down, Rodin. Oh Sarah, baby. Oh, you were one. Wow. Don't make me hurt you. Learn to defeat your ruthless enemy, Steve of Hackensack. Ryan, you're gonna get rude. Shut up, quadruped. There's no time like begging time. Kids, don't jump on the bed, please. Looking for some rebound action? Check out the new WWE Stun Action Ring. The new rebound mat has realistic rebound action. WWE action figures and Stun Action Ring are each sold separately. Me one strawberry blasted honeycomb! <laughs> There's an easier way to get that honey sweet crunch you crave with a blast of strawberry flavor. Strawberry blasted honeycomb, part of this good breakfast. I order you to come up with a plan to defeat the Earthers once and for all, and you bring me this, this toy! I know my plan lacks your usual subtlety, sir, but if you'll allow me to demonstrate. I have no interest in demonstrations, Commander. Only results! And you shall have them, Warmaster. The Earth shall be yours for the taking. <clears throat> what? <clears throat> All hollow camouflage systems functioning normally. <clears throat> I look repulsive. Indeed. 
They are a repulsive species. Regardless, they shall soon be our slaves. I meant your slaves. This plan of yours had better succeed, Commander, or I'll have your jaw blocked. I have no patience for failure. Unless it's your own. What was that? Shall I set course for Earth, sir? Yes, bring us out of null space so I can finally finish off this wretched human race! <laughs> worse. So, instead of honing your combat skills, we're gonna listen to music? Trust me, this will help my combat skills. You ever been in a mosh pit? What's a mosh pit? You'll see. <laughs> Maybe I'll get floated over some hot chicks again. I wonder why I never get floated up on the crowd like you. <laughs> yeah, I wonder. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, hey! Tiny! You ready to rock? Hey, Kiva. Ooh, dig the new look. Gonna save me a dance? So when's the music gonna start? Please tell me this isn't the music! Mosh Pit! That's it. I'm hitting the food stand. Hey, yo! Pick me up some of those nasty fake cheese nachos and stuff! Woo! Think we have enough? Yeah, but after we give this to Coop, we'll need to make another run for us. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, watch it! Oh. Look where you're going! Oh, I thought we left the mosh pit. We did. What? Minor glitch, sir. Did you see? Glorfed. You'd better hope we locate the target soon, Commander. I find it increasingly difficult to contain my natural urge to destroy these vile pink. We're closing in, sir. Any second. There! Uh-oh. Get her!
Don't let her get away. Don't worry, I'm okay. What do the Glorf want with that girl? We have to find her. Then I'm going that way. Fine. When you run into those heavily armed Glorf who look just like humans, you take care of them. Uh, hold up! The girl is gone! Your plan has failed, Commander! She hasn't gone far. You three, that way. The rest with me. We'll find her, sir. Idiots! I'll find her myself! men were or why they're after you first off who are you and why are you freak stalking me well i'm jamie and i'm like a big time space hero i've saved the earth like 12 times what could the glorved possibly want with you well it looks as if my plan is coming together perfectly kiva gorath even as a human, you're just as repulsive. Gorath? Oh man, how come every time I start getting somewhere with a chick, he shows up? A family reunion. How touching. Family? What are you talking about? Oh no. Once I destroy you, your descendants cease to exist. All of them. But you're from the future. You don't have any family. If I'm never born, I can't steal the prototype and send it back to the past. And I'll never be sent to this primitive planet and be surrounded by all this human filth! Ah! It's all over now. Earth is doomed! I wonder how this will work. Will you just disappear? Or will it hurt? Wait, let me understand this. This hotties related to Kiva? I never would have expected you to come up with such a clever plan, Gorath. Maybe I should get rid of you first to make sure you suffer. That would have been the smart thing to do. <laughs> Jamie, get the girl to Magus. Where'd she go? Jamie, stay with her and... Jamie? Jamie? Looks like your friends have deserted you. No problem. They were just slowing me down. Wasn't I supposed to get nachos? This is how you conquer worlds now, Gora? Attacking an innocent, unarmed girl? Yes. Sir, we're closing in on the girl. Hold her! I want to take her out myself. I was just, uh, looking for my friend with the giant robot. Uh, looks to me like you're hiding. Me? No way was I hiding. Cause it's not a bad idea. I was totally hiding. Gotcha! Ah! Yo, man, that Jamie? What? Nah, 
That guy's with a girl. This way. No, she's not. Don't I know that guy? It's the squid. Yo, what's up with that? Don't know, but they ain't messing up my party if me and Magus got anything to say about it. That is, as soon as I can get to Magus. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> Wait! A minor glitch! Come on! How am I gonna get to Megas? Whoa! <laughs> yeah! Check me out! He's off of a nacho, dude! Nice! Rock on, Coop! But hurry up and get Megas. I want to help you. Why should I trust you? Because she ain't a snot green alien with a gun. Good point. <laughs> I tire of this game, Earthers. That girl and your future are history. Now! Good thing I had the top down. Miserably, Commander! Now we do this my way. Bring down the mechs! I ask for nachos, and you bring me the Glorfed? We have to keep this girl safe, or the whole timeline may be compromised. Yeah, Kiva may never be born, and we may never get Magus. Uh, okay. You might want to strap in. Things tend to get a little bumpy when the green guys show up. Yeah, no kidding. All right, you octopus-faced losers! You crash my concert, stop me from getting fake cheese nachos, and try wiping out this poor chick who ain't done nothing to you just so you can make Kiva not be born and me not get my robot. Uh, wait. Explain it to me again. It's their... Ah, forget it!
The only thing you thick-headed Earthers understand is a brutal display of force. From now on, I do things my way. You mean the loser way? of my town. See? Told you we'd get lots of combat practice. I never spent much time with my family in the future. Too busy fighting to save humanity? Something like that. So, if you want, we could spend some time together. Are you crazy? Aliens? Giant robots? You and your friends are freaks. I'm going back to Brooklyn, where it's safe. Thanks. So, Kiva, check it out. If me and Allie had gotten together, I could have been your great, 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 great grandfather or something. Ugh. Now that's an awful thought. Please, Jamie, this day's been disturbing enough. Oh, okay. Okay, I think I got it. Gorath was trying to change the future by messing with the past, which is the present, right? So, the future... No. Wait, I don't understand. Okay. I think I got it. Don't worry about his plan, as long as we stopped it. Rock on! So, did you guys ever get those nachos or what?
series. We got the Clone War pass. Latest news from the battlefront where General Kenobi and the ARC Trooper face off with droid forces. New on the scene is the dreaded bounty hunter Dirge with hail fired droids at his command. Yoda calls for more firepower and it's Anakin Skywalker to the rescue in his new custom starfighter. Direct hit, the battle for the galaxy is in your hands. Star Wars New Clone Wars series, each sold separately, some assembly required. Is it water on the knee? Affirmation! Remove the pieces and collect your feet, but don't touch the sides. I'm the doctor for you! Batteries not included. Affirmation! Now you can pick my new ailment in the What's Sailing Sam sweepstakes. I'm thinking tennis elbow, growling stomach, or brain freeze. You can win a $5,000 shopping spree. Get your parents okay and go to Operation.com or call 1-866-SAMVOTE for entry and details. Many will enter, few will win. Screamers are at McDonald's. There's one in every Happy Meal. Separately from Bandai. Who ordered you to attack, Private? He did? There's a whole new world of micro machines where action rules and you rule the action. New micro machines, secret double base, massive battles, major barrages. Sneak attack is payback. Your micro world, you can make it and master it. All right! What else you got? Chemical cleanup! You can even tame a toxic mess. Micro Machine, Secret Double Base, and other sets each sold separately. Just a harmless joke. No hard feelings? Hmm. 
You're lucky I don't hold grudges. <laughs> I got you again! All right, all right, no more. Hey, here, take my watch. As your loving brother, it's the least I can do. Hmm. No. All right. Fun if it swallowed you whole. Fine. You want fun? Mm -hmm. I'll show you fun. I'll prove to you just how fun I can be. The center. Where's it coming from? Garbage. Gross. What's the matter? Dumpster not fun enough for you? Hmm. <sighs> <sighs> Center's concerned I'm working too hard, so they made hobbies a mandatory requirement. I took up cooking. It's supposed to be relaxing. Oh, you're cooking. That would have been my second guess. Hmm. Anyway, there's been a report of a missing diver that immediately preceded an unseen force terrorizing the harbor in Monte Carlo. Another diver got away. Diver and a harbor under attack. I know exactly what's going on. The giant one eyed squid of Atlantis has returned to take over the Earth. How do you figure? Because it's just like my favorite movie, Beast Beneath the Sea. What silly monster movie isn't your favorite? Cooking anyone? Looks like a Stefan. Woo! Hmm. <laughs> Agent Mystery, Mademoiselle. I have a few questions about the recent attacks. What attacks? Thank <laughs> you. 
broke a tooth. I knew it. There is a beast beneath the sea. Come oh. on, oh, Martin. That's probably just a whale bone. What about the goo? You want to Slime scan Translation, seaweed. Fine. But, uh, what about that jolt that almost spoke the call? Earthquake. You have an answer for everything, don't you? Yes. Well, I'm still sending the tooth to Billy for analysis. Whatever you say, Martin. that I could tell you more, but I just don't know. Oh, it must have been horrifying, Stefan. We were leisurely swimming, when all of a sudden, the water was very cold, then splashing, and... There, there. I don't remember anything after that. Only that I haven't seen my friend since. Uh-oh. Better hang on, there's gonna be an attack. How do you know? The sky. Same thing happened at the hotel just before the... Ah! about scuba right now. In there? <laughs> What's the matter? I thought you were all about fun. And what could be more fun than diving in search of a giant one-eyed squid? Oh. Uh, you're right. But just for the record, we're not searching for a squid. It's probably just a rogue whale or something. Hmm. Sailing. Saltwater lizard goo. You can tell by the globules. So some big sea lizard is doing all this damage? 
Do you think it has anything to do with this coin? I found it on the ocean floor. It dates back thousands of years. Precious coin. Hmm. Hey, that reminds me of something from Beast Beneath the Sea. What? Something about gold or maybe a treasure? How can you not remember something about your favorite movie? It's hard when you have a hundred favorite movies. Let's use the Legend X. You watch activated. Legend X selected. Treasure sea creature. Hurry, the water just got cold. I thought you didn't believe in this stuff. I, I don't. Ah! Morton, quit it! <laughs> <sighs> Just relax. If I remember, the beast beneath the sea is really very nice. Oh, stop pulling around, Martin. I'm serious. What are you talking about? Ah! <sighs> Just hurry! Aha! The Legend of Leviathan dates back 3,000 years. <gasps> Diana? Diana! <laughs> Paranormal world, Java? No! <sighs> Martin, Java! Diana! It's so good to see you, sis. <laughs> yeah, so, anyway. How cool is this? I mean, who can ask for more fun than being inside a monster? <laughs> Please tell me you're kidding. Oh, this is Lance. Lance, Martin and Java. <laughs> He's still learning. So, you're gonna get us out of here, right? Just as soon as I figure out a plan. Or remember how Beast Beneath the Sea ends. Everyone disappears in that. All right! That's it! That was awesome! Great ending! Well, for a movie, I mean, uh, uh, we'll shoot for something else. <laughs> Digestive tract. Yeah. Hey, that's one world I don't need to visit. Hey, Martin. Hmm? I got the info on that specimen you sent in. It is a monster tooth, but I guess you already knew that. Uh, yeah. Uh, don't suppose you could help us get out of here, Bill? Uh, sorry. But no time to help today. So many specimens to identify, so little time. Huh? <gasps> Well, according to the Legend X, Leviathan, uh, that's our host here, is only interested in his treasure. Treasure? Yeah. It's the guardian of a treasure that belongs to an ancient tribe that mysteriously disappeared a thousand years ago. Respect Leviathan's quest, and you'll never know it exists. Disturb its quest, and you'll never know what hits you. Martin, where's that coin I found? Hey, we found a chest filled with gold coins just like that one on our dive. Stefan didn't say anything about that. Obviously, he didn't want us to know. Well, the treasure belongs with Leviathan, and that's where we're gonna put it. Hmm? 
What was that? Awesome. These must be the monster's immune defenses, you know, to get rid of infections and diseases and... Us? Huh? Ah! Get them off! Get them off! Squash them! Before they rip your gear! Hungry? I've got your order right here! Supply, it just might work. Or we might use it all up, and this will end like beast beneath the sea. <laughs> Not if I can help it. out too far. Sorry, oh. Stefan. The treasure stays. I don't think so. <laughs> think again. Uh. Hey, you really do know the definition of fun. Now, let's find Leviathan and make things right. Okay, not good. Not good. it feel bittersweet? You're only human. It's hard to throw that much gold back into the sea. Huh. <gasps> all right, all right! Ugh. Man, I think he was an accountant or something. Team. We're transporting Leviathan to an uninhabited ocean lair where it can guard the treasure in peace. All right, mission accomplished. Now, let's have some real fun. Fun? I've had fun. I've had tons of fun. In fact, fun is all I've had. And if I never have fun again, it'll be too soon! <laughs> you see, Java? She'll never change. <laughs> <laughs> Me, I don't know fun. play for the fighting. I, I appreciate the expansive multi-tier environments and the 16 characters with the, the pixel shading bump mapping. 
and the rich plot development. Seriously, why else would I play it? She kicks high. Rated T for Teen. Think you can drive the toughest Hot Wheels road known to man? Get ready for Serpent Cyclone. Three wicked loops for super fast racing. Rip upside down over a cyclone of jumps. Whoa, a gnarly crash. But wait, there's a giant serpent. Can you get by his strike and take that slithery sucker out? Off with his head. Yeah. Nice driving, kid. Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels Serpent Cyclone tracks it comes with two cars. Adult assembly required. Other cars and batteries not included. How can you tell if you're looking at a real Texan? Some say it's the boots. Others say the hat. But the real way is the buns. Introducing the authentic Texas Toast Bacon Cheese Thick Burger with thick grilled Texas toast. New at Hardee's. Champion Zanzor. Of all who were sent on this final task, you alone have succeeded. You have brought the Defiler to face the Metal Maiden. Metal Maiden? That doesn't sound too bad. It's Wasp, all right. He's making a real mess. What's his heading? I don't even think he knows. Wasp! Chill out! We know you are a spy. We just... Bumble bot love! Wasp, not listen! Bum, 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 bum. Wasp is mine! <laughs> <laughs> You're wasting time, Sentinel. The attack on Ultra Magnus has spread chaos all over Cybertron. That's not your concern, Optimus. No, it's yours. You have a responsibility to our home planet. Not to mention a bunch of Decepticon prisoners to take to the Cybertron stockade. I don't need either of you glitches to tell me my job. Wasp knows something about that attack on Ultra Magnus. I'm sure of it. The same way you were sure Wasp was a Decepticon spy? I was misled by bad intelligence. <laughs> That's putting it mildly. No bot is innocent, Optimus. You of all bots ought to know that. There's something you want to say to me. I think you know what I mean. Jet fire to Sentinel Prime. Target watch. Spotted heading north-northeast. Moving to intercept. Roger that. On my way. Put it in park, Wasp! Now! Sorry, Sarge, Wasp. Wasp not your park. How about... Reverse! Mm. 
never go back to Stockhold. Never. You're not going back, Wasp. The spying charges against you were dropped. Stay out of this, Optimus. This is a dangerous fugitive, and I'm bringing him in. Fuck off! Wasp, kick all your stun plugs! Guys, uh, let me handle this, please. Now, just take it easy, Waspy. We're not the bots you're mad at. That would be Longarm. He's the bot that pinned that phony spying charge on you in the first place. I just, you know, believed him. And you want to hear the funny part? Guess who the real Decepticon spy was? Can you guess? No? <laughs> it's really fun. It's Longarm! Longarm was the spy, not you! And I totally fell for it! Can you believe it? No! <laughs> Hate to say it, but Sentinel's got a point. I'd feel a lot safer with Wasp behind bars. That's not your call to make, Bumblebee. <laughs> and it's not your call to make either, Optimus. I'm in command. On Cybertron, this planet is my jurisdiction. This is a Cybertronian fugitive, and I'll enforce my authority as the... the, uh... Primer Prime! Did you just make that up? No. There's no such thing as a Primer Prime? It's a real term. Look it up. I'm not gonna look it up. Afraid I'm right? Uh, guys? Primes? <laughs> Sirs? Uh... It doesn't matter. We've got a dangerous fugitive here, and... Um, no, we don't. I thought you agreed with me. I mean, he's getting away! <sighs> I'm a bot! Let's go, Wasp! Well, don't just stand there with your pistons in your servos! Follow that! Thing! If you hadn't interfered, we could have nabbed him. If you hadn't interfered, we could have talked him into surrendering. Oh, yeah, right after he slagged Motormouth here. Jetfire, Jetstorm, grapple! No, Sentinel, wait! You don't want to follow that thing. Oh, yeah? Watch me! But there's something you need to know first! Save it for the court-martial! We have to get to Dinobot Island, fast! What do the Dinobots want with Wasp? I can guess, and I hope I'm wrong. Well, look what that Pteranodon dragged in. Pure Cybertronian circuitry. Just what I need. Speechless. I have that effect on bots. Don't I, sweetie? You did good. Now go out and stand guard like a nice dinosaur robot thingy. Meanwhile, you and I can get better acquainted. That flying freak bot disappeared somewhere on that island. Optimus is Sentinel. Do not pursue to the island. Repeat, do not pursue to the island. I'll explain later. <sighs> that does it. I'm putting a block on that cyber clown's frequency. Now take me down there, maximum burn! But, Sentinel O'Brien, sir! Don't talk! Just listen and do, and you might actually learn something. Let me go, you numbnodes! Oh, yes, sir, Sentinel O'Brien, sir! <laughs> Should we be taking notes on what not to do? Would you quit grinding your gears and just get me a reading on that fugitive? Energy signature has gone to under the ground. But his big power reading in center of island. And what are you waiting for? Let's move! Sir, 
Autobot Lighter Wasp, Cold Wasp Traitor, the Mad Traitor, but still Chase Wasp. Oh, Wasp confused. That sounds pretty simple to me. The Autobots betrayed you, and now you hate them. Been there, done that. Spiderbot, understand, Wasp? Oh, you and I have quite a lot in common. Ladybot, Wasp friend? Hmm, yeah, something like that. Oh, like it? It's a transwarp generator. Up until now, they've only been used for intergalactic transport, but... Oh, but I'm boring you, aren't I? And just when I was getting to the good part. Good part? What good part? This good part. <laughs> now, don't be alarmed, sweetie. This is power. Power to destroy your enemies. The ultimate combination of cybernetic and organic. And it can all be yours. Oh, don't let those little hiccups bother you. Science marches on. Oh, you trust your friend, don't you? clicks to get into position, and then created a version to draw them away from the entrance. The version? What kind of version? Means for we to blow something up. Oh good, I am liking the version. Forgive me or Sentinel for sending him to the brig. Which, by the way, totally not my fault. I mean, Long Arm set me up. Not that Wasp would ever believe me. But he might forgive you if he stopped making excuses and started making an apology. So, you picking up Wasp on your scanner? No, but I am picking up a surge of transwarp energy. That's never good. No, Spider. I don't know what kind of weird organic horror you are, but if Wasp is inside that giant tin can, I want him now! Full of yourself as ever, eh, Sentinel? You... you know me? I did once. A robot? With an organic mode? Ew! There is no way I would ever have anything to do with a mutant freak like you! That's not what you said when you dragged me along on your little treasure hunt to a Decepticon warship. You remember? The one with the unstable Energon cubes? And the spiders? Elita One? It's Black Arachnia now, Sentinel. 
thanks to you and Optimus. But I... I thought you... went offline. Well, at least you two managed to get your story straight. I never forgave Optimus for leaving you behind. It was his idea, you know. And, and Ultra Magnus, he, he wouldn't even let us go back to recover your shell. Then I guess nobody's innocent. Oh, I, I just never knew, never imagined something this unspeakable could have happened to you. How can you even live like that? I mean, it's horrible. It is disgusting. Okay, okay, I get it. It's bad, but it's not that bad, all right? No, it's worse. You should have gone offline. The transport field, it's overloading. Is that... thing wasp? Wasp not thing. Wasp upgrade. What have you done to him? Ah, cool your crankcase. I just made him techno-organic, like me. I am not wasp friend. Not wasp powerful. Not wasp... wasp What can I say? It's the next big thing. It's an abomination! Just like you! And I can't allow it. I can't allow any of it. So that's it. You just slag your old friend, Alita One. Don't say that name! You don't deserve to say that name! <laughs> You're not Alita One, you mutant freak. Alita One went offline a long time ago. Fastbot, not hurt, what the little friend? <laughs> <laughs> Get away from me, you filthy organic! <laughs> What's the matter, Sentinel? Still afraid of bugs? <laughs> what? That was the nature now, Thumberbot! No! Sentinel! <laughs> 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 Let him go, Black Arachnia. Why should I, Optimus? Because I'm the one who left you behind. Sentinel's not the one to blame for what you look like. What I look like is only half the story. <clears throat> what I am is a lot more complicated. So, uh, Wasp, Benader, you look taller. <laughs> and you can fly, too. That's, that's cool. Rasplanator mega cool, thanks to a new friend. Hey, speaking of friends, I wanted to say I'm sorry. You know, for everything I did and didn't do. Ras, forgive Thunderbolt. Oh, really? But Rasplanator mega forgive! Thunderbolt, yeah! not get away from me! You knew about this? I didn't know how to tell you. Oh, well, thanks for not spoiling the surprise. Because I wouldn't want to be, well, I don't know, prepared for this or anything. Mute it, lover bot. Spark knows I have every right to slag you both. But I have an experiment to complete. <sighs> <sighs> I thought you hated being part organic. Why did you do the same thing to Wasp? Isn't it obvious? If I can change him back, then I can change myself! And what if he goes offline in the process, like you almost did? Well, that's the price of science, isn't it? Spider-Bot, not Waspinator's friend. Spider-Bot, lose Waspinator! Mouth, Spider-Bot, fix Waspinator!
for what the resources cross by the bot. His transport mutation is unstable. It's building to critical mass. So what's the plan? Same as it's always been. Run! Just like old times, huh? One side, Buzz Boy. This place is going critical. Firebot! Come back! Bumblebee! Help me carry him out. Guess it beats getting flattened a third time. Are they looking enough distracted to you, brother? Big one still wiggles a little. Now, Rathamal for squish for the box. This time we're not leaving without you. This time I am. Black Arachnia. No. She sacrificed herself to save us. More like she sacrificed Wasp and used his transwarp field to bug out. Either way, we're rid of them both. Thanks for everything, OP. Sorry we gotta split so soon. I always dig this planet. That is making one of you. <laughs> Sentinel, he's definitely not digging organic insect bugs. Come on, ease up, you two. He's been through a lot. Never thought I'd hear you sticking up for SP. He's a good bot. Even if he doesn't know how to let go of a grudge. I can handle my own team, thank you. Now get your sorry shells aboard! Double time! I'm sorry I never told you about Alita. I didn't want to open old wounds, and I, uh... Well, I guess I never really apologized for making you leave her behind all those stellar cycles ago. Yeah. Well, I guess I'm sorry, too. Sorry we ever went to that stupid planet in the first place. Besides, it's... It's too late for apologies now, Optimus. Too late for all of us. Yeah, maybe so. But right now, Cybertron needs a leader. And for better or worse, that leader is you. Got that right, buddy. Pointing the finger at the thumb thing. It's the wildest thing in wrestling.
wrestling fun thing. Come on. Nail biting fun from action. Here comes Thunderdome. Oh. You've got the speed, oh. the moves, oh. the fun, the slam fun thing to the man and be the new champ. The hot gear. You're breaking my nails. You're breaking my nails. The electronic yes. fun wrestling game. Batteries not included from Tiger. Nerf. New from Nerf, the N-Strike Recon CS6. The blaster you can customize for any mission. For night missions, equip the red spy light to spot hidden targets. For multi-target missions, the six dark quick fire clip gives you extra firepower. And for long range missions, flip up the sight to nail your target. The N-Strike Recon CS6, only from Nerf. Blaster comes as shown, other blasters sold separately. Batteries not included. Nerf. Fruit flavored snacks. Gush a friend at BewareTheGush.com. Teresa, this is the vital mission you wanted my help on? Shopping can be a dangerous operation, Jay. I'm starting to see that. No, you started it! Oh, well, who made you the movie police? Oh, well, someone had to shut those guys up! Hey, what's the problem? Atlanta got us tossed out of the movie for talking too loud! Me? Atlanta, why don't I give you a lift back to the dorm? Yeah, Archie, why don't we walk back together? Fine! <laughs> I forgot what a kick it is to play with mortals. Especially mortal heroes. These two put the fun in dysfunctional. Who'd have thought a phone could be so handy for spreading discord? <laughs> Watch it. What are you doing? Call me crazy, but I thought I'd watch some baseball. Hey! hey! Okay, crazy. You know this is when I watch Extreme Boarding Countdown. Yeah? Well, how about watching a real sport for a change? I'm not watching three hours of guys scratching themselves. You get enough of that around here. Oh, yeah, well, you know what? Who's always drinking what? the milk? What? You know, I don't even drink, drink the milk. I drink soy milk. You drink all you the drink milk. And you that take up really way rich. too much space. What's the last time get off the Ouch. I hate it when mom and dad fight. And I'm out of like here. What are you so talking about? You. Oh, I am, you know what I'm talking about. Come on, Harry. I've got death metal zombie blaster in my room. Sure, it'll be a lot quieter. Now, who 
could use a little strife in their life. Ah, uh, boring. Mm, Grandpa Cronus says he's a tough nut to crack. I'll save him for later. Perfect. But not for long. Hi, Neil. You're so hot. True. Dear Neil, I love you. Well, of course you do. Hey, Neil, I found this cool ringtone and wanted you to download it. Hmm, that sounds good. Where's Neil? I want to get going. He'll get here when he gets here. Here we go again. Mouth shut, ears open! <laughs> now they've got some really cranky competition. Since Neil has failed to grace us with his presence, we'll start without him. Okay, then. When your opponent is armed and you are not, what do you do? Odie. Uh, run for it? <gasps> no, you take control of the weapon and neutralize your enemy. Begin! <laughs> 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 I can't do it. Atlanta, when you rush me, grab my wrist with both hands. Here, like this. Yeah! Get your hands off her, Jay. I'm calling you out. What? <laughs> sure you are, Archie. Yeah. Okay, you got me. Let me go, Archie. Oh, Miss Artemis. Uh, we covered headlock counter moves last semester. Oh. Archie, what's gotten into you? I'm teaching Jay a lesson for moving in on my territory. And by territory, I mean Atlanta. Territory? Why, you... You'll behave yourselves. Oh, for the love of Zeus, where is your self discipline? Ah, oh, well, if it isn't Neil, you're late. I couldn't help it. I've been trying to get this ringtone off my phone all morning. A ringtone? It's annoying. Listen. Oh. I have to get the visions. Guys, I saw a face. It looks like... Man, that ringtone is annoying. And strangely familiar. Maybe it reminds you of your own voice. Ugh, Atlanta, that tune is getting real old. Neil, put your PMR away and quit wasting our time. Hello, I'm having a vision here. When are you not having a vision? Quiet! All of you, class dismissed! Don't come back until you can control your tempers! Oh! Why did I ever go into teaching? Why? Everyone, we've got to keep our tempers. I agree. Except for Archie and Atlanta, we're usually all more even-tempered. FYI, I know who's doing... Let's meet in the library when we get ourselves under control. <laughs> Fine. If no one wants to listen to me, it's not my fault! Thanks for fixing my hair, Dryer Hephaestus, honey. <laughs> I'd tune up your gadgets any day, goddess of love. Aphrodite, can I use your spa? I am so stressed. Oh, oh great fire from Prometheus! Ah, what the heckity was that? What? How do you like your new ringtone? Who is this? Oh, just a girl who's into anarchy and chaos and sunset walks through battle-torn wastelands. You sound like a fun date. How about we meet? Unless you're afraid to show your face. You want to see the face that launched a thousand wars? You got it. Gotcha. There! It's overhaul! Ugh. It still isn't hot enough for my immortal hair! Better leave harnessing divine energy to me, Blondie. How dare you take that tone with me, you, you 
fix it, man? Oof. I can fight fire with fire! <laughs> Finally, we got us a match. Eris, the goddess of strife? She's the daughter of Aphrodite. Ugh, I could have told you that from my vision an hour ago. I read about her in history class. You read a comic? Okay, that's kind of cool. Eris didn't get invited to this wedding, so she threw the Apple of Discord into the party for the most beautiful. That started a real catfight. So they got this guy Paris to judge who was the hottest. Aphrodite bribed him by hooking him up with Helen, but the girl was already married, and that kicked off the Trojan War. So I forgot Helen of Troy was hitched. Eris started it. She's the worst daughter ever. That's ancient history. Ladies, take a seat. No! We know Ares is spreading strife again, but how is she doing it? Anyone pick up a bad apple lately? Ah! 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 Odie, stop that infernal noise! Trying to delete it. Now I remember why I heard that ringtone before. At the movies. The rest of us didn't get mad till we heard it ourselves. Ugh. Looks like Eris has planted an anger inducing application in the ringtone. An applet of Discord instead of an apple of Discord. Eris must be stopped. Logically, to overcome Discord, we need harmony. <sighs> I'm more of a solo singer, but fine. La 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 la. Neil, harmony is the goddess of harmony. So, where do we find her? I'm not sure. She's gone underground. Uh, if Aphrodite wants more heat, I'll give her more heat! Is it hot in here? Or is it just me? <sighs> Must be that hothead, Hephaestus. Zeus, I quit, and I want a decent severance package! Uh, Artemis. You'd best sit down, Athena. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, control yourself! We gotta save the day. Harry, go turn down the heat. Odie, get the 411 on Harmony. Archie, Atlanta, Neil. Someone's gotta shut down Eris, so let me lead the way. Oh, sure. Ignore me again. See if I lift a finger to help save the day. Ugh, Aphrodite's girly junk makes good fuel. <laughs> Festus is really turning up the heat. Huh? Who's there? Huh? How are we gonna find Eris? She could be anywhere. Neil, let me see your PMR. She's at the old bell tower. Zeus said Harmony went underground. I'll add that to my search, and... Bingo! Harmony works for the Hiss FM underground radio station. <clears throat> now, I just have to triangulate the location of the station. <sighs> my genius is wasted on this stuff. There's the transmitter. Well, where there's peace and love, there better be Harmony. Anybody home? Welcome to Hiss 
FM, sweetie. Relax, sweetie. I don't bite. Well, not too hard. Whoops, we got us some dead air. That was Apollo and his easy listening classic, Hop Strings. Next up, Pan with the funky flute. This is Harmony on His FM. Your Harmony? Chill out, child. What's got you so bummed out? Oh, nothing too urgent. Mmm, I'm really feeling this groove. Come on, Mr. H. If the furnace blows, we're all gonna fry. Kick it down a notch, why don't you? And that's a wrap! What in the blazes? who disrespect historic buildings really tick me off. Oh, no! It's the Frantic Four! My nose is not that big. Oh, you mortals are so cute when you're angry. The next round of Discord is on me. I'll hold your calls for you. <laughs> <laughs> ha! Who's laughing now? That was a present from Grandpa Cronus. Cronus is your grandfather? That explains a lot. Oh, now you're just asking for a fight. I don't like to fight girls, but in your case, I'll make an exception. J, J, J. I'm not gonna fight you. <laughs> You're gonna fight each other. <laughs> Make it stop! Shut it, Neil! Don't give in to your anger! That's exactly what Eris wants! I'm trying, Jay, but I feel so mad! <sighs> We've gotta drop our weapons! Have you lost your mind? Just in case we lose control. Man, I hate it when you got a good point. Show me the hip cord! Grab your weapons and go for it! I would if I had a weapon! How come I don't get a weapon? Jane, let's do what she says, then take her out. Now that I know I'm being played by her, I can control myself. We all can. He's right. Let's go for it. If you're wrong, I'll be really angry. You want to see some discord? Catch me if you can. Hit me with your best shot. Oh, don't leave me hanging. Never mess with the soft pizza. <laughs> Bring on the heat, Hef. Uh-oh. Odie, are you there? Oh, hey, Harry. What's up? I struck out with Hephaestus, and the furnace is going to blow any minute. Did you find Harmony? Sure did. Is she gonna help us with Eris or what? Oh, yeah. 
Eris. Did you say Eris? Yeah, she's spreading strife and our school's about to explode. Well, why didn't you say so in the first place? Eris is more of a snake than I am. Listen. Listen to the voice of harmony, my brothers and sisters. Let's all just chill. Yeah. <laughs> Fighting never solves anything. Give peace a chance. Feel the joy in your hearts and just love one another. Listen to the voice of harmony, my children. Let's all just chill. Fighting never solves anything. Give peace a chance. Harmony never lasts. You mortals can't resist the power of strife. Feel the joy in your hearts and just love one another. Uh, that prissy little hisser. She's ruined everything. How can I start wars when I feel so peaceful? You know what would feel even better? A group hug. Ew! I'm so out of here! Yeah, I feel good. I'm sorry for taking you for granted, Hephaestus. Oh, and I'm sorry I tried to blow up this group. See now, if you release all that negative energy, you won't give in to strife. God, this anger management workshop is bogus. Well, I think you need it. Well, I think I don't. You totally do. I totally don't. Me because you look so fine that I really want to make you mine. I say you look so fine that I really want to make you mine. Four, five, six, come on and get your kicks. Now you don't need the money when you look like that, do you, honey? When you pour a bowl of Applejack cereal, your time. sweet cinnamon races to you. You again. But there's a bad apple who's trying to get there first. Stay out of my Applejack! <laughs> Here I go. I did it! I did it! Did it! Did it! I am Sydney Mom. I did it! No! Apple Jacks doesn't taste like apples because the taste of sweet cinnamon oh, yeah. is the winner, man. A cinnamony part of this complete breakfast. Yo! Uh, Apple Jacks, get it? Hi, it's Vince with Sham Wow. You'll be saying wow every time you use this towel. It's like a chamois, it's like a towel, it's like a sponge. A regular towel doesn't work wet. This works wet or dry. This is for the house, the car, the boat, the RV. ShamWow holds 20 times its weight in liquid. Look at this, it just does the work. Why do you want to work twice as hard? Doesn't drip, doesn't make a mess. Wring it out, 
You wash it in the washing machine. Made in Germany. You know the Germans always make good stuff. You can cut it in half. Use one as a bath mat. Drain your dishes with the other one. Use one as a towel. Olympic divers. They use it as a towel. Look at that. Completely dry. Put a wet sweater. Roll it up. It dries your sweaters. Here's some cola. Wine, coffee, cola, pet stains. Not only is the damage going to be on top. There's your mildew. That is going to smell. See that? The most absurd. We're going to do this in real time. Look at this. Put on the spill. Turn it over. Without even putting any pressure. 50% of the cola right there you follow me camera guy the other 50 percent the color starts to come up no other towel is going to do that it acts like a vacuum and look at this virtually dry on the bottom see what i'm telling you sham wow you'll be saying wow every time i can't live without it i just love it oh my gosh i don't even buy paper towels anymore if you're gonna wash your cars or any kind of vehicle you'd be out of your mind not to own one of these all i can say is sham wow you're going to spend $20 every month on paper towels anyway. You're throwing your money away. The mini sham wows are for everything, for everyday use. This lasts 10 years. This lasts a week. I don't know. It sells itself. The sham wow sells for $19.95, but you get one for the house, one for the car, two for the kitchen and bathroom. But if you call now, within the next 20 minutes, because we can't do this all day, we'll give you a second set absolutely free. So that's eight sham wows for $19.95. Comes with a 10-year warranty. Here's how to order. When you dive into a bowl of SpaghettiOs pasta, your mouth will really rock. Once you get your lips around us, you know you'll be in trouble. We're tempting little O's, oh, you wanna have a double? Spaghetti O's, oh, oh, oh. what's your mouth dream about? Spaghetti O's, oh, oh, oh. oh, without us you won't pass. First you wanna slurp some, that sauce is like no other. And those juicy meatballs, be sure to thank your mother. Spaghetti O's, oh, oh, oh. what's your mouth dream about? Spaghetti O's, oh, oh, oh. take it meatball. Whoa. SpaghettiOs, oh yeah. No, no, not punky, chunky, chunky chips ahoy. Big, delicious <laughs> chunks of chocolate. They're all loony. Chunky chips ahoy, jam-packed with big chunks of chocolate. They're crazy with chips. Oi! What did I miss? Aunt May, I can't believe you don't have it on. They discover alien life and you're not watching? Oh, Peter, aliens are bug-eyed monsters who say, take me to your leader. This is a mud stain on the space shuttle. Not mud, organic mud, living mud from outer space. NASA's not releasing images, but if we zoom in on this shot of the shuttle, right there on the hull, that dark patch is extraterrestrial life. Primitive, obviously, but organic. Earlier today, the alien life form was flown to Empire State University, where it will be studied by the country's top biogeneticist, Dr. Curtis Connors. Oh, yes, an in. I hope. Hello? <laughs> That's right, bro. The ooze has landed. And uh, Dr. C is back in the game. He's been kind of lost since, you know, the lizard thing. Discontinued most of our research but we're back in business again. I, I have to see it. Can you hook me up? No go, bro. Dr. Martha's spoken. No visitors, no reporters, and for sure, no photographers she already knows she can't trust. As usual, Peter Parker's out of luck. But maybe Spider-Man's not. After all, Spidey's got a zoom lens, and the lab has a skylight. And now a peek at our strange visitor. And our strange visitor's visitor.
The school locker has better security. Perfect. I stop a crime in progress, get pictures for the bugle of me and a hot cat burglar, and slap my peepers on the ooze. Hat trick! Kitty. Gee, I never thought I'd be rescuing the icky alien from the beautiful damsel. Well, I do believe it's Spider-Man. Easy, cat lady. I don't want to fight. Name's Black Cat. And cats don't fight spiders. <clears throat> we just bat them around. Whoa. Oh, you better not get your goop in my hair. Don't worry. It comes off with ice or peanut butter. Lovely. You've got a sweet little skill set there, Spidey. You want in on this gig? We could split the take. Gig? Take? These words are strange to me. A certain captain of industry offered an indecent amount of cash to steal that slime. Said something about unlimited scientific potential. Are you sure he was a full captain of industry and not some industrial cadet showing off for the girls? <laughs> <laughs> I know when a man's showing off. So what do you say, hot stuff? Want a slice of the mud pie? <sighs> it's tempting, but then I'd have to turn in my superhero discount card. Mmm, too bad. I like us together. We only just met, and I'm not that kind of spider. Give a cat a chance, <sighs> and she'll make you that kind of spider. <laughs> Stop, I'm blushing. What in the... Dr. Connors! <sighs> Two's company, three is a corroborating witness. The life form, where is it? Black Cat, she must have, but how, when? Call the cops, I'll go after her. Oh, so much for this gig. Bad kitty, oh, maybe I can still find her. Oh heck, I never even got a good look at the gunk. Thief and accomplice steal E.T. And Spider-Man's come in through the skylight before. Yes, but never to steal anything. I actually thought Spidey was a hero. And I actually thought Pete was a human being. But he was here last night taking pictures and couldn't even be bothered to call the police. But... Don't bother, Gwen. Bro had his second chance. I'm done. Boss, I'd like a word. How about scram? Or two words. Scram kid. Or 17. Get out of my office in 2.3 seconds or I'll staple you to a flagpole. How did you count so... Like, never mind. I, I can't believe you're printing flat out lies. Lies? You callow, insubordinate pup. The Bugle only prints facts. And whatever it takes to connect the facts together. Yeah, but I was there. I mean, taking pictures from the roof. I mean, Spidey was trying to stop Black Cat from stealing the ooze. She got away, but they didn't leave together. Look that way to an amateur like you, but it's standard crook behavior. They met up later to divide the spoils. Ask Dr. Connors. He was there. Last night? Read the article, kid. Connors didn't discover the theft till early this morning. What? Why would Dr. Connors lie? <laughs> Spider-Man must be quite confused right about now. Hello, General. No, regretfully, I have no alien to deliver. A known competitor beat my team to the lab by mere minutes. Of course, your down payment will be refunded. Goodbye. So no paycheck? No paycheck. But this story in the bugle, it sparked an epiphany. Mason, I'll need all your mechanical ability. And Beck, your special effects expertise. Yeah, so what else is new? Which captain of industry or high-ranking politico are you posing as this time, chameleon? This time, I have someone a little different in mind. Black Cat must have taken the muck. 
Okay, so there's no proof in any of my pictures, but I know I didn't take it. And, and what's with Dr. C? I mean, Spidey saved him from a permanent case of lizard breath. I mean, how could he betray the old webhead that way? And how am I ever gonna clear my friendly neighborhood name? And the crazy thing? They think I stole the alien. I never even got a good look at it. Ooh, that's a good look for you. And flatter, truly. See, I knew we made a connection. You, you're the real thief. <laughs> because I stole your heart? Heard it before, Swinger. What the heck? I've been looking for you. I know I don't like being blamed for crimes I didn't commit. Or any crimes, really. Bad for business. So the frame-up must really annoy an ex-primary color guy like you. Huh? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. You didn't steal the ooze, did you? Oh, <laughs> you know I didn't, short, dark, and handsome. You were there. So unless you took it... I, I didn't take it! Calm down, I didn't think so. But if you're fed up enough with the thankless hero thing to match your image to mine, then I have to ask. Are we going to be bad guys together, partner? Or just plain bad? <laughs> Was it something I said? I guess I found the ooze. Or it found me. Face it, Spidey. Alien life has permanently bonded itself to your suit. Best case, you're in for one monster of a dry cleaning bill. Perfect. Now I'm flying a glider. Got a ditch in Central Park. No. Eddie and I lost our parents in a plane just like that. Whoa. Can't believe I made that leap. I hope I'm strong enough for this. The trouble is, I'm not close enough to a building for my web to carry. Still, nothing to lose. Did I do that? Or, or did the ooze actually upgrade my spiderness? Look out! Ah! If I can use the ooze to help more people as Spider-Man, and not incidentally earn a bit more photo money as Peter Parker, then maybe... It's okay that I sort of unintentionally stole the slime from the Connor's lab. And maybe it's better for everyone if I don't return it. Of course, it's not really my call. But obviously it was the right call. <laughs> I could get used to this. Hey, Aunt May! Uh, Aunt May, what's wrong? Oh, Peter, I I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to frighten you. I j it was just the heat from the stove, and I am a little tired. I'm not surprised. You've been cooking nonstop. There's enough food here to feed the rhino. Uh, I'm testing recipes. We can give the extra to the food drive. Come on, let's get you to bed. Matter, Flashy. Does the truth hurt? <laughs> <laughs> it's not the truth. I mean, it's not true. Hey, if it's make fun of Flash Day, how can I help? Widow Flashy's mad because his hero turned out to be a big crook. I told you, the guy in the pictures ain't the real Spidey. Any guy can put on a costume. Puny Parker wore one last week. Can Puny Parker stick to walls and sling webs? Face it, Flash. The Bugle has undeniable photographic evidence. Forget the Bugle! There's no way I'm ever gonna believe Spider-Man's turn to crime! Then you're the only one! <laughs> no sudden moves, friends. Your friendly neighborhood web shooters in a frisky mood. Behind you. My insect early warning system's tingling. <clears throat>
Fill her up. Wonderful. Ha! Perfect. Tomorrow's front page. Uh, uh, Mr. Jameson, uh, these pictures... Too late, Parker. Got all the pictures I could ask for. Best of all, Joe Anonymous is letting me have them for free. As I predicted, the webhead's turned out to be just another thug in a mask. Soon he'll be caught, jailed, and run out of town. How can he be jailed and run out of town? I'm giddy as a schoolgirl. Never thought I'd be on the lookout for, well, me. Hey, crime spree. Was hoping you'd swing this way again. Cat. Listen, I'm innocent. Obviously. Doesn't that imposter know black is the new red and blue? Yeah, I turn him black and blue. If I can find him. Well, as it happens. Be so sure he'll hit here. I think like a thief. A boat full of overdressed fat cats is a can't miss proposition. Wait. Mm. Now Waters is wearing the Stuyvesant Tiger. <sighs> I want it. Cat, no door prizes. Try focusing on how we get aboard. Please, I'm a professional. I come prepared. Hello, so glad you could make it. I'm wearing a fortune in borrowed jewels, Captain. Let's get this boat moving before a certain arachnid decides to crash my party. I still don't buy it, Your Honor. I've seen Spider-Man in action. I can't believe he's turned to crime. Believe it, Stacy! The Bugle's been saying for weeks the webhead's a fraud. Now that I'm proven right, I assume you've taken the proper precautions. Don't worry, Jonah. My officers are all on alert for Spider-Man. Besides, if he was coming, he's too late now. Hors d'oeuvres, your honor. Norman! Wonderful of you to come. Are you happy to see me or my contribution? And if my answer is both? Then I'm investing in an honest politician. Now, if you'll excuse me. Demitar Sergeant. Sweet ride! Haven't you heard? Crime pays. I'm not listening. La 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 la. <laughs> Almost there. Hold on tight. Don't worry, I don't slip. Not why I said that. Uh, we're, we're close enough. Mmm, my kitty sense is purring. Guess Cat was right. And so I raise my glass to thank you for all your support. And after the election, your city will thank you too. <gasps> As will your friendly neighborhood spider thief. <laughs> ah, I knew it! <laughs> Fill him up, folks. Take him! <laughs> Your Honor, if you hold that tiger too tight, I bite. He's too tall. This guy's a fraud. Spider-Man is not a fraud! Can't believe I just said that. Behind you. That's spider strength, people. Think I can fake that? Actually, I do. And who are you supposed to be? Spider-Man, the real one. The real one? You don't even have the costume right. I'm in mourning for my buried wreck. <laughs> Just like Picklepuss will be when he's forced to print a retraction. Retraction? Listen, Webhead, nobody tells J. Jonah- See? Even the Jolly One himself knows I'm the genuine article. Now that's 
spider strength. Except no substitutes. Demitas, Spider-Man. They took the tiger! Now, we need to go! Incoming! Let them settle this Spider-Man to Spider-Man. Thanks, Cat. I owe you one. At least. Whoa! Wow. A new onesie. I can feel it balancing me. Compensating for the boat, the water, everything. But on page 42, in four-point font. I'm satisfied you're innocent, Spider-Man. We'll find out what Chameleon did with the E.T. Actually, I sort of... What are you doing? You tell the truth and they'll take the suit away. And you need its power to help people. I sort of figured you'd say that. Then I'll say this, too. As long as you wear a mask, some folks will always wonder. Night, Captain. Captain Stacy! The tiger! It's not here! All right, Chameleon. Where's the... <laughs> you made a pretty good team. Maybe you should change sides. Okay, then why did you help me? You really don't know. <laughs> wow, Cat. I, I had no idea you felt that way. Uh, Cat? Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Oh, 